You know why they paint those orange? No, sir. Um, never thought there is a reason behind that. Why? Why the fuck do I care? You think I care? I'm a fucking cop, right. Michael. Sorry, sir. I don't give shit sorry, about that. Sorry, sir. Sorry. I did not. Focus, Michael. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. Chill down a little. Look at you all prim and proper oh, yeah. in that nice little iron shirt your mom ironed for you. Cool down a little, Michael. We are cops. We are not investment bankers. Sir, what are you doing? I mean, we, sh we should probably go inside. There is that body waiting in there, right? Give me a minute, will you? I'm just checking in. That bastard Rafferty, I'm just three places behind him now on the weekly crime scenes visited leaderboard. That right. cops is going nowhere. Not that moron. What do we oh, have oh, here? Oh. oh, officer, look. Hmm. Well, well. Suicide note. I can't believe this. Can you check this guy's handwriting? <laughs> Somebody should teach these guys to write, man. What is he, a fucking doctor? I don't want to put my life in the hands of a guy whose discs look like dicks. Right, officer. I guess this guy is called Rational Griffington. He's working. Hmm. Oh, he's an investment banker, and he's working at Jones and Co. Yeah. Mr. Moneybags, huh? Seems so. <laughs> Rich motherfucker, but you know what he had for his last drink? No. J.B. Walker, the cheapest whiskey in the whole world. He could have bought whatever he wanted for his last drink, but he had J.B. Walker. I don't understand these guys. You know, mark my words, when I'm gone, I would want to have the most expensive mod in the world. You better write that down. You right. might be in a position where you have to use that line. Look at your face, father. Loosen up. I told you before as well. You need to loosen up. But it's funny, Michael, isn't it? I mean, look at this guy. An investment banker. I give my money to these investment bankers to invest. They play with it. Hell, they lose it. I am bankrupt. I have to sell my car. You know what I drive? I drive a fucking 94 Ford. And this guy, I'm sure he must have driven chicks around in a Porsche. What were you doing there, Michael? Trying to look for his pockets? Have you ever heard of an investment banker who put his hands in his own pockets? Million ways to die, man. Get married. Listen to a fucking Justin Bieber song. But why cheap whiskey? Don't move. <coughs> Cuban. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Worthington. Worthington, indeed. I know. This is the last one. See you in 15. Love you. I'll make this quick, because I'm late for my day. So what do we have here? Banker, 33 years old. I mean, here on the TV. Huh. I would have loved to have a banker as my lover. They know firsthand the penalty of early withdrawal. Didn't you say he was dead? Show me on this guy. Can you try that on yourself? Oh, I mean, I don't know. They... That's... The... That's how they told us, like in school. I mean, we just practice on dead bodies. How am I supposed to know that? The dude's alive. He's out. But not down and out. In any case, bankers never die. They just lose interest. All right, I'm out of here. Should we just try to save this guy? Well, what is your job? Look, my job ended two hours ago. And I'm stuck here filling up for that chef. That fucker wanted to die. I want no lawsuit against me. What if we save him and he says, these guys robbed me of my fundamental right to die? 
they sue everyone out here. Am I in heaven? Is this what heaven looks like? Yeah. But wait, there's just three of you. Where are the other six nine virgins? Virgins? The only virgin around here is you, baby. And this, my friend, is not heaven. And I just brought you back from the doorsteps of hell. Looks like you were pretty happy down there. Did you have a nice dream? Well, guess what? I heard you were a failed investment banker. And today, you failed at killing yourself. Well, your blood alcohol content level looks fine. Your estrogen level has gone up a little, but I think that's okay. Hey man, I know you're excited and all, but you need to take it easy for a few days. Holy crap! Did that really just happen?